Hi guys, welcome to the Swedish Homestead channel. My name is Simeon and today you will join us as we are making beeswax candles for the first time in our life. We've made a previous video where we describe why we do it and what equipment we use. So check that out if you're a first time watcher. We are right now going to go right to the process of making the candles. So I will start with this one. I got my silicone form for this candle here. I cut a piece of wick off. I made a little knot here in the bottom. And now I'm gonna put that in there so it's gonna be centered. You see here? It's holding this into place now and so now we just need to have something that will center the wick up here so that's what these sticks here are for put the wick through there and pull it and this will center it and hold it into place we can adjust this a little bit later so basically here you have the form you can see that it's centered it's very very important that it's in the center for the in order for the candle to burn right later. And now we're going to take these rubber bands and close up this form very, very nicely and evenly all over the place. There you go. Now just really important that this is a nice line on the inside especially that's where you will see it and we have the first form ready just need to make sure that this is really as far in the middle as can be so that this will be centered and the candle will burn nicely here you go it's gonna be ready to be poured we'll have to do this as well um, with this with this candle here and um, then we will put down some newspaper here on the table and we will put the tea lights there and prepare those as well. Now for this candle here, we're going to use a different wick because it's much thinner. The wick needs to be thinner and it can't, um, can't be the same one. It'll burn too fast and too big of a flame. It'll melt the surface. So we need a different wick here. So this is size number two and this was size number seven. Now. I don't really think there is a point in me posting this for you guys because you live in so many different countries and these wig sizes are different in all the countries. We ordered our stuff here from a store in Germany, a local a local bee supply store or, or whatever you might call it, beekeeper supply store. And I don't really think there's a point in me doing it. If some of you guys are from Germany or something, you know, let me know in the comments. I will send the link to you. But otherwise, um, I think you're better off just looking for yourself. So I'll make a knot here on the bottom. I actually make three, three little knots so that it'll turn into one big knot. It'll just have to hold it into place here. There you go. Now we'll put newspaper here, put the tea lights here so we can pour a whole bunch of them at the same time. Okay, so I put this candle in a glass, in a jar, so it's gonna stand here. We've set up a bunch of empty tea light forms here. Um, and then we will now have to filter the wax and pour it through an old towel. And then we will mix it with the coconut oil and get it all ready so we can pour here. Okay, so this is the pot that we're gonna use to first melt it to about 85 degrees Celsius, 185 Fahrenheit so that we can pour it through a towel into the actual pot where we're gonna keep it at the temperature 
that we'll use for melting it. And I don't want to use the whole thing at once. I'm actually going to start with one kilogram, about two pounds. So let's see if I can cut a big enough piece off. This is almost about exactly 1,000 grams, it's 1,013 grams, so almost exactly a kilo. We're going to warm this up now to melt it, and we're also going to add um, one cup of coconut oil to this. Actually, I said something wrong. We're not going to add this to the beeswax yet since we have to filter it through. So we're just going to add it in this pot. This is going to be the pot where the filtered through beeswax will go in. So my wife is right now um, putting the coconut oil in this pot. So we're going to use this uh, meat thermometer here so we know the right temperature. We don't want it to be too hot. Now we have an induction stove here, which helps with creating a um, evenly warm surface for the wax. I think it would be much harder to do it on a wood stove or a traditional stove. Um, with natural gas, it, it probably works really, really well as well. Um, but induction seems to work just fine for us. As soon as you turn it down, the heat goes down pretty much right away. The smell of this is just absolutely incredible, but you see all of this stuff, we need to filter out here. Just want to check if we are melting it way too hot here. Temperatures going up, 50, 55, 60. It actually stops at about 85, 86. I think we're a little too warm, I just turned it down a little bit. and. Um, we're still fine here. Don't want to heat it up more. I guess you could say watched wax never melts. <laughs> this has been 18 minutes already. And like I said, it's probably a faster, more efficient way, but this is our first time. We just want to take it slow and easy. Okay guys, it's all melted. I'm going to take the temperature one last time here, right over there you see the pod that's standing on the bigger pod with water in it and it's already warmed up, the coconut oil is in there and it has melted. My thermometer right down here tells me that the wax is about 84 degrees Celsius. And that's exactly where we want it to be. Or lay it. Uh, kind of lay it over like this, I think, would be the best. Just one layer, I think. Just one layer. And you could you could hold it down a little bit. It's okay with the steam going So it through. won't sink in so much here. Okay, let's see here. Try to pour this in. Well, I want it a little, yeah, okay. little bit like that. We wonder if our towel is too thick, but it seems to be sinking through. It just goes slowly. Here you can see all the dirt, all the dirt that's in the pot from the wax. That's why we are filtering this through to just get it all 
out of there. Purify it. It's actually running through. I'm gonna pour in the last bit. You okay? Yeah. Seems like we are losing a bunch of wax here. To the towel? To the towel that's gonna stick in there. Yeah, exactly. But I'm okay with that. We've learned our lesson. I think next time we'll use something much thinner, like a pillowcase. This was just too thick of a material for it to filter through. But hey, learning by mistakes is the best way. Let's see how this works. Let's actually first, let's first do the big candle here so we get a little bit of wax out of here so it's gonna be easier to pour. on the side okay now I got this we'll see if this works better fill up the tea lights here this works really well actually so my my wife is gonna put the the wicks in this is still not the perfect tool ideally you want one with a little mouth there but this works okay I'm wasting a little beeswax, which is a bummer. But hey, we are learning to do this. Bear with us. Don't you love the golden color? Hey guys, look at, this is the big candle. I made a mess. <laughs> uh, it's drying already. You have this candle that is still quite liquidy, but then you have all the tea lights. Look at that. Beautiful. They were so nice and golden, and now they turn into this beautiful, bright yellow. It's gorgeous. We were talking about maybe coloring some candles and, and wanting to find out a nice way how we could do this, but I love this color. Mm, it's absolutely nice. pretty. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's fun. This is gonna be so nice for you to have candles finally, huh? Mm. So uh, I just got this candle. I placed it outside. It's below freezing outside and it cooled down a little bit. The knot is holding it up there. Oh, cool. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. It's a beautiful candle. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little it's candle. Nice, yeah. I picture it being a little bigger, but I really like it. It's beautiful. Okay guys, that's it for today. These are the three different kinds of candles that we made today. We made this one. We made this one for our advent um, candles, whatever you call it. And then we made the tea lights. And I can say that the tea lights were the easiest and most effective. These ones you definitely need to have more of the forms to pour in. Then that might go really well as well. I'm going to do a separate video because of time um, where I will do a test for burning, how these will burn, and I will post that. So um, if you are interested in how these actually burn, if you have had experience with 100% pure beeswax candles that burn not so nicely, we have some coconut oil in these, um, check out that video that I will put out on YouTube on our channel where we can see how these burn. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.